What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, so it is, I don't know the date, gotta check my phone. April 28, 2020. This is like episode 1000. I'm on vacation and Brian's on the stock exchange. So we're going to talk about trading during earnings season. So before we get into that, let's jump into what happened today in the market. We're going to talk about the tweets. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, probably the biggest ones that came out today that affected the market the most. Number one being when Fauci, I guess is how you say it, Fauci says the U.S. could be in for a bad fall, could be in for a bad fall if researchers don't find an effective treatment to fight the coronavirus by then. COVID-19 is not going to disappear from the planet, he said. It Adding experts are learning about how the virus behaves, which is what a lot of us have believed. And that, in my opinion, is where the, it was just a delay of reaction in news. This, to me, is where the market finally took the downturn, right? So the market downturn right here in the morning was in this 9.55 a.m. candle, which this tweet came out at right about 10 a.m. market time. So that would be basically the end of that five minute candle right there. And as you can see, boom. So from there, basically everyone was, they lost hope. That was their losing hope candle. That was the losing hope tweet. Fauci said, no, we're in for a bad fall. This could really be bad. We're not going to have any. The WHO said this months ago. They said we're not going to have a vaccine for 12 to 18 months, yet we're already reopening the economy. Texas is going to be like the fucking like, spearhead of the entire experiment. My ass ain't going to be out there in that shit. I, <laughs> I ain't going to be out there doing that. They're taking... Oh, it opens up tomorrow, I think? Oh. Yeah, it's... it's uh, May 1st? Is it May 1st? Yeah. I'm chilling, man. I'm going to wait it out. You let me know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. No, bro. I ain't, I ain't getting out. I'm going to be on the beach. This is where I'm staying, right here on the beach. <laughs> 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 so the number two was, and this is the one that we thought, we, I, think, I think Brian mentioned this too. This was the one that was really like the head scratcher that was like, really? And the U.S. House cancels plans for returning next week, citing virus. But, <laughs> hey, it's cool to reopen the economy, bro, but we ain't going to go back to work. The, vi the government's like, no, 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 we're not going back. We're not going back. And yet here we are staring at this and, and we're looking at it going, what, what, what is happening? What is even happening? What's your thoughts on that? Oh, is that for me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just think, uh, you know, it's kind of like you guys get back to work, but, uh, you know, we, we're going to wait this out and see how, yeah, the, <laughs> how it plays out. Yeah, we're let, let the guinea pigs go out. Let all you peasants go out and about into the, into the streets and see how this goes, and then maybe. So yeah. Google CEO, also another tweet today, Google CEO tells employees, return to office won't happen until at least June 1st. So that's another 45 days almost, another month and a half nearly. And that's an at least, that's an at least, that's, that's probably an optimistic outlook is June 1st. And so if Google is not going to put people back in the office until June 1st at least, Congress and the U.S. House and everybody else is not going back why are we reopening anything? It is, it's like, what are we doing? So the number four, Trump, here you go. Here comes contradiction, okay? Get ready for it. President Trump, the third and fourth quarter in particular are going to be, I think, spectacular. Spectacular. Spectacular, third and fourth quarters when almost every market expert has predicted that quarter three is going to be the worst in every scenario. 
Number five, U.S. President Trump says businesses will be in good shape, says the worst days of the pandemic are behind us. The House is not returning to work, though. Google ain't going back to work. Are the worst behind us? Yeah. Nearly one million cases, pretty much just round up to a million cases of this in the U.S. today. Now, number six, here we go. Okay, so number four and number six are very similar, all right? Trump then goes back and says, quarter three is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Maybe better than okay, even though it's a transitional quarter. And then quarter four will be great. U.S. will have a tremendous 2021, tremendous, tremendous, tremendous 2021, setting new records. Got the Trump hands. (laughs) Yeah, the only other thing I'd add to that is there was some data this morning on consumer confidence. And uh, apparently it's the lowest since 2014. So... Um, just another, you know, yep. bit of what's what's going on today. Uh, but on the flip side, though, if you think about all this negative stuff, good old market boy just keeps on trucking. Yeah, that's here we are. Here we are again in the next yeah. in the next point. It, the market has no care in the world about this. Now, the thing to point out here that is very interesting to me is the fact that this area right here, we continue to hold the bottom of this channel. So you guys remember last week, I pointed out that this trend needed to kind of flatten a little bit in order to be maintained a little bit better. It was, this was like way too sharp. This was way too sharp. This was way too sharp. And now we flattened out, okay? So now that we flattened out, we're in a better situation to continue to ride that up the top. But the fact that we can't, really get back up here. The fact that in order to get to the middle of this channel is going to be right at the 300 mark, which is pretty much like, I just don't really see SPY going much further than that without retracing first. But we're just holding on to a thread because we continue to bounce off of the bottom. And the more times you touch the bottom of a channel, more times you touch the bottom of a regression without, without touching the top first, and coming back, that's a strong trend. This is a strong trend, right? If the, cha- if the market were to do that, that would be a strong trend. So the S4, will that be a buy the dip or with that trade on the S4? So for me, it's an ultimate target. So on a short side, it's the ultimate target as like when it gets there, I'm not gonna continue to hold for lower, I'm gonna take the money. Like if I've been able to hold through every piece, I'm gonna be covering in pieces along the way at each pivot and the last pivot being like, it's probably gonna bounce here. Like, and I, if you wanna test going long at S4 when it has that type, I mean, that might be a setup. I haven't personally tested it, yeah, that might be a damn good setup. Is like range exhaustion. I could definitely see that having edge. And yeah, maybe wait for the over under kind of yeah. thing um, because it gets too heavy. I think on the long side it would work better. Like if you're buying the dip on like a big first red day and it makes it to S four on R four, don't short. That shit will keep up trending on you, and it will just grind your ass out. Like, but on the long side, I've yeah. seen it happen a lot, and I meant the short side. On the short side, I've seen it happen a lot where it hits S4 and then starts to bounce. With the long side, dude, we actually tested like when it breaks R4, how far does it continue to go? Why is not worth buy a call and a put and let one offset the other since loser will be only the cost and the winner should pay a nice return? Yeah, that's a that's a spread trade, right? Yeah, I believe it's a long straddle. Yeah. Oh, straddle? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the only problem is like if, let's just say, for example, Google, right? So where is Google at? Um, I guess you can, you can backtest that, right? Um, I don't trade straddles, but um, it's something you can definitely backtest. Yep, for sure. Because like if you bought Google in the close, like 1230, it was like 1230. If you bought a 1230, 30 call on a 12 30 put maybe see oh where was that at close and see where it is at open fucking chart holy mother yeah so wow i, I don't i don't know uh, i mean obviously if you bought the put in into close then it's worth zero right yep it's but then on the call side that 12 30 call i don't know if you have a options chain up but 
I that's can what, have it up. Let me see real quick. See. But if you have an options chain up, that twelve thirty call, it may have cost you fifty bucks or you know something something insane. So would you pay fifty dollars for an at the money call? I wouldn't. But twelve thirty at the money, forty bucks is the ask. Yeah. So one call that's four spread, with a ten yeah, dollar spread. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. Yep. So that's four grand. So I'll take ten of those, please. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'll take 10. So yeah, so then, then, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the put becomes worthless and, and you, you, yeah, but the open interest, here's the thing I don't like about the Google situation is look at all the open interest, man. There's fucking no interest in any of these. None of the, like this entire column is open interest and there is no open interest today. Tomorrow you're going to see this stuff. Like you're going to see these skyrocket, right? I mean, these people down here, this one right here, this, this $1,200 put right here, 16 by 20. This dude with, there's $930 open, 930 open interest contracts there. Yep. That's going to be worth three bucks tomorrow. It was that, is that this Friday? If yeah. that, yeah. 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 yeah that's going to be worth three dollars i mean it's gonna be fucking terrible well i i if there's no more questions i think we're gonna wrap it up there all right you guys have a good one all right guys later thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here